and lo, a voice from heaven, saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the publicans the same? And when thou prayest, thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the streets, that they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. No man can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. He that loveth father or mother more than me is not worthy of me, and he that loveth son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. Behold my servant whom I have chosen, my beloved in whom my soul is well pleased. I will put my spirit upon him, and he shall show judgment to the Gentiles. While he yet spake, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and behold, a voice out of the cloud which said, This is my beloved Son in whom I am well pleased. Hear ye him. Honor thy father and thy mother, and thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Jesus said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind. And the second is like unto it. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, and love the uppermost rooms at feasts, and the chief seats in the synagogues. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. And there came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. And there was a cloud that overshadowed them, and a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son, hear him. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him, and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatsoever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven. And come, take up the cross, and follow me. Having yet therefore one son, his well-beloved, he sent him also last unto them, saying, They will reverence my son. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these and to love him with all the heart, and with all the understanding, and with all the soul, and with all the strength, and to love his neighbor as himself, is more than all whole burnt offerings and sacrifices. And he said unto them in his doctrine, Beware of the scribes, which love to go in long clothing, and love salutations in the marketplaces. And the Holy Ghost descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him, and a voice came from heaven which said, Thou art my beloved Son. In thee I am well pleased. But I say unto you which hear, Love your enemies. Do good to them which hate you. For if ye love them which love you, what thank have ye? For sinners also love those that love them. But love ye your enemies, and do good, and lend, hoping for nothing again. And your reward shall be great, and ye shall be the children of the highest for he is kind unto the unthankful and to the evil. For he loveth our nation, and he hath built us a synagogue. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me therefore, which of them will love him most? Wherefore I say unto thee, her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loved much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And there came a voice out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved Son. Hear him. And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. But woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye tithe mint and rue, and all manner of herbs, and pass over judgment and the love of God. These ought ye to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Woe unto you, Pharisees! For ye love the uppermost seats in the synagogues, and greetings in the markets. No servant can serve two masters, 
for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will hold to the one and despise the other. Ye cannot serve God and mammon. Then said the Lord of the vineyard, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be they will reverence him when they see him. Beware of the scribes, which desire to walk in long robes, and love greetings in the markets, and the highest seats in the synagogues, and the chief rooms at feasts. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world, and men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. The Father loveth the Son, and hath given all things into his hand. For the Father loveth the Son, and showeth him all things that himself doeth, and he will show him greater works than these, that ye may marvel. But I know you, that ye have not the love of God in you. Jesus said unto them, If God were your Father, ye would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he sent me. Therefore doth my Father love me, because I lay down my life, that I might take it again. Therefore his sisters sent unto him, saying, Lord, behold, he whom thou lovest is sick. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Then said the Jews, Behold how he loved him. He that loveth his life shall lose it, and he that hateth his life in this world shall keep it unto life eternal. For they loved the praise of men more than the praise of God. Chapter 13 Now before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour was come, that he should depart out of this world unto the Father, having loved his own which were in the world, he loved them unto the end. Now there was leaning on Jesus' bosom one of his disciples whom Jesus loved. A new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another. As I have loved you, that ye also love one another. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one to another. If ye love me, keep my commandments. He that hath my commandments and keepeth them, he it is that loveth me. And he that loveth me shall be loved of my Father, and I will love him, and will manifest myself to him. Jesus answered and said unto him, If a man love me, he will keep my words. And my Father will love him, and we will come unto him, and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not keepeth not my sayings, and the word which ye hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away and come again unto you. If ye loved me, ye would rejoice, because I said, I go unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I. But that the world may know that I love the Father, and as the Father gave me commandment, even so I do. Arise, let us go hence. As the Father hath loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments, and abide in his love. This is my commandment, that ye love one another, as I have loved you. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. These things I command you that ye love one another. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hateth you. For the Father himself loveth you, because ye have loved me, and have believed that I came out from God. I in them, and thou in me, that they may be made perfect in one, and that the world may know that thou hast sent me, and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. Father, I will that they also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory which thou hast given me. For thou lovedst me before the foundation of the world. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it, that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them, and I in them. When Jesus therefore saw his mother, and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he saith unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then she runneth, and cometh to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple, whom Jesus loved, and saith unto them, They have taken away the Lord out of the sepulchre, and we know not where they have laid him. 
Therefore that disciple whom Jesus loved saith unto Peter, It is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girt his fisher's coat unto him, for he was naked, and did cast himself into the sea. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved, because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved, following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. It seemed good unto us, being assembled with one accord, to send chosen men unto you with our beloved Barnabas and Paul, to all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints. Grace to you and peace, from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are the called according to his purpose. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. As he saith also in Ozi, I will call them my people, which were not my people, and her beloved, which was not beloved. As concerning the gospel, they are enemies for your sakes. But as touching the election, they are beloved for the Father's sakes. Let love be without dissimulation. Abhor that which is evil cleave to that which is good. Be kindly affectioned one to another with brotherly love, in honor preferring one another. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, saith the Lord. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law. For this, thou shalt not commit adultery, Thou shalt not kill, thou shalt not steal, thou shalt not bear false witness, thou shalt not covet. And if there be any other commandment, it is briefly comprehended in this saying, namely, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Now I beseech you, brethren, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake and for the love of the Spirit, that ye strive together with me in your prayers to God for me. Likewise, greet the church that is in their house. Salute my well-beloved Epinetus, who is the first fruits of Achaia unto Christ. Greet Amplius, my beloved in the Lord. Salute Urbane, our helper in Christ, and Stachys, my beloved. Salute Tryphena and Tryphosa, who labor in the Lord. Salute the beloved Persis, which labored much in the Lord. But, as it is written, I hath not seen, nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. I write not these things to shame you, but as my beloved sons, I warn you. For this cause have I sent unto you Timotheus, who is my beloved son, and faithful in the Lord, who shall bring you into remembrance of my ways which be in Christ, as I teach everywhere in every church. What will ye? Shall I come unto you with a rod? or in love, and in the spirit of meekness. But if any man love God, the same is known of him. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. 
If any man love not the Lord Jesus Christ, let him be anathema maranatha. My love be with you all in Christ Jesus. Amen. For out of much affliction and anguish of heart I wrote unto you with many tears, not that ye should be grieved, but that ye might know the love which I have more abundantly unto you. Wherefore I beseech you that ye would confirm your love toward him. For the love of Christ constraineth us, because we thus judge, that if one died for all, then were all dead, by pureness, by knowledge, by long-suffering, by kindness, by the Holy Ghost, by love unfeigned. Chapter 7 Having therefore these promises, dearly beloved, let us cleanse ourselves from all filthiness of the flesh and spirit, perfecting holiness in the fear of God. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith and utterance and knowledge, and in all diligence and in your love to us, see that ye abound in this grace also. I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. Wherefore, show ye to them and before the churches the proof of your love and of our boasting on your behalf. Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity. For God loveth a cheerful giver. Wherefore? Because I love you not? God knoweth, and I will very gladly spend and be spent for you. Though the more abundantly I love you, the less I be loved. Again, think ye that we excuse ourselves unto you? We speak before God in Christ, but we do all things, dearly beloved, for your edifying. Finally, brethren, farewell. Be perfect, be of good comfort, be of one mind, live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Ghost be with you all. Amen. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. For in Jesus Christ neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but faith, which worketh by love. For, brethren, ye have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh, but by love serve one another. For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, as he hath chosen us in him before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and without blame before him in love, to the praise of the glory of his grace, wherein he hath made us accepted in the Beloved. Wherefore I also, after I heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus, and love unto all the saints, but God, who is rich in mercy, for his great love wherewith he loved us, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, and to know the love of Christ, which passeth knowledge, that ye might be filled with all the fullness of God, with all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love, but speaking the truth in love, may grow up into him in all things, which is the head, even Christ, from whom the whole body fitly joined together and compacted by that which every joint supplieth, according to the effectual working in the measure of every part, maketh increase of the body unto the edifying of itself in love. And walk in love, as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savour. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. And the wife see that she reverence her husband. But that ye also may know my affairs and how I do, Tychicus, a beloved brother and faithful minister in the Lord, shall make known to you all things. Peace be to the brethren, and love with faith, from God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be with all them that love our Lord Jesus Christ in sincerity. Amen. And this I pray, that your love may abound yet more and more in knowledge and in all judgment, but the other of love, knowing that I am set for the defense of the gospel. 
chapter 2. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Chapter 4 Therefore, my brethren, dearly beloved and longed for, my joy and crown, so stand fast in the Lord, my dearly beloved. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus, and of the love which ye have to all the saints, who also declared unto us your love in the Spirit, that their hearts might be comforted, being knit together in love, and unto all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the acknowledgement of the mystery of God, and of the Father, and of Christ. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering. Husbands, love your wives, and be not bitter against them. All my state shall Tychicus declare unto you, who is a beloved brother and a faithful minister and fellow servant in the Lord. With Onesimus, a faithful and beloved brother who is one of you, they shall make known unto you all things which are done here. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas greet you, remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, brethren, beloved, your election of God. And the Lord make you to increase and abound in love one toward another and toward all men, even as we do toward you. But as touching brotherly love, ye need not that I write unto you, for ye yourselves are taught of God to love one another. But let us, who are of the day, be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet, the hope of salvation. And to esteem them very highly in love for their work's sake, and be at peace among yourselves. And with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. But we are bound to give thanks all way to God for you, brethren beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. Now our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, and the Lord direct your hearts into the love of God and into the patient waiting for Christ. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. And they that have believing masters, let them not despise them, because they are brethren, but rather do them service, because they are faithful and beloved, partakers of the benefit. These things teach and exhort, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after, they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. But thou, O man of God, flee these things, and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, meekness. To Timothy, my dearly beloved son, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. Hold fast the form of sound words which thou hast heard of me in faith and love which is in Christ Jesus. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Henceforth there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only but unto all them also that love his appearing. For Demas hath forsaken me, having loved this present world, and is departed unto Thessalonica, Crescens to Galatia, Titus unto Dalmatia, but a lover of hospitality, a lover of good men, sober, just, holy, 
temperate, that they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. But after that the kindness and love of God our Saviour toward man appeared, all that are with me salute thee, greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. The Epistle of Paul to Philemon Paul, a prisoner of Jesus Christ, and Timothy our brother, unto Philemon our dearly beloved and fellow labourer, and to our beloved Apthia and Archippus our fellow soldier, and to the church in thy house, hearing of thy love and faith which thou hast toward the Lord Jesus and toward all saints. For we have great joy and consolation in thy love, because the bowels of the saints are refreshed by thee, brother. Yet for love's sake I rather beseech thee being such an one as Paul the aged, and now also a prisoner of Jesus Christ. Not now as a servant, but above a servant, a brother beloved, specially to me, but how much more unto thee, both in the flesh and in the Lord. Thou hast loved righteousness and hated iniquity. Therefore God, even thy God, hath anointed thee with the oil of gladness above thy fellows. But, beloved, we are persuaded better things of you, and things that accompany salvation though we thus speak. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have showed toward his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints, and do minister. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. For whom the Lord loveth, he chasteneth, and scourgeth every son whom he receiveth. Chapter 13. Let brotherly love continue. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Do not err, my beloved brethren. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, slow to wrath. Hearken, my beloved brethren. Hath not God chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he hath promised to them that love him? If ye fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, ye do well whom, having not seen, ye love, in whom, though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable and full of glory. Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lust which war against the soul. Honor all men. Love the brotherhood. Fear God. Honor the king. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren. Be pitiful. Be courteous. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that they speak no guile. Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial which is to try you, as though some strange thing happened unto you. For he received from God the Father honor and glory, when there came such a voice to him from the excellent glory, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased, which have forsaken the right way, and are gone astray, following the way of Balaam the son of Bosor, who loved the wages of unrighteousness. Chapter 3 This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. Ye therefore, beloved, seeing ye know these things before, beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. But whoso keepeth his word, in him verily is the love of God perfected. Hereby know we that we are in him. He that loveth his brother abideth in the light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Chapter 3 Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Beloved, 
Now are we the sons of God, and it doth not yet appear what we shall be. But we know that when he shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. In this the children of God are manifest, and the children of the devil. Whosoever doeth not righteousness is not of God, neither he that loveth not his brother. For this is the message that ye heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We know that we have passed from death unto life because we love the brethren. He that loveth not his brother abideth in death. Hereby perceive we the love of God, because he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brethren. But whoso hath this world's good, and seeth his brother have need, and shutteth up his bowels of compassion from him, how dwelleth the love of God in him? My little children, let us not love in word, neither in tongue, but in deed and in truth. Beloved, if our heart condemn us not, then have we confidence toward God. And this is His commandment, that we should believe on the name of His Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as He gave us commandment. Chapter 4 Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God and every one that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God. For God is love. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world, that we might live through Him. Herein is love. Not that we loved God, but that He loved us, and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we ought also to love one another. No man hath seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us, and his love is perfected in us. And we have known and believed the love that God hath to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Herein is our love made perfect, that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say, I love God, and hateth his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love his brother also. Chapter 5 Whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God, and every one that loveth him that begat loveth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments. And his commandments are not grievous. The second epistle of John the elder unto the elect lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, and not I only, but also all they that have known the truth, grace be with you, mercy and peace from God the Father, and from the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the Father, in truth and love. And now I beseech thee, lady, not as though I wrote a new commandment unto thee, but that which we had from the beginning, that we love one another. And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. The third epistle of John. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Beloved, Follow not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God. 
looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, and the first begotten of the dead, and the prince of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us, and washed us from our sins in his own blood, nevertheless, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto the death. And they went up on the breadth of the earth, and compassed the camp of the saints about, and the beloved city. And fire came down from God out of heaven, and devoured them. For without are dogs, and sorcerers, and whoremongers, and murderers, and idolaters, and whosoever loveth and maketh a lie.